narrated by Saul, the brother of Bani Sida. A man from the Angsar came to the Prophet peace be upon him and said, If a man finds another man sleeping with his wife, should he kill him? That man and his wife then did lien in the mosque while I was present. Narrated by Abu Huraira. A man came to Allah's messenger peace be upon him while he was in the mosque, and called him, saying, O Allah's apostle. I have committed illegal sexual intercourse. The Prophet peace be upon him turned his face to the other side, but when the man gave four witnesses against himself, the Prophet peace be upon him said to him, Are you mad? The man said, No. So the Prophet peace be upon him said, to his companions, Take him away and stone him to death. Continued from above, narrated Jabir bin Abdullah. I was one of those who stoned him at the Musala in al Madina. Narrated by Um Salama. Allah's Messenger peace be upon him said, I am only a human being, and you people, opponents, come to me with your cases, and it may be that one of you can present his case eloquently in a more convincing way than the other, and I give my verdict according to what I hear. So if ever I judge, by error, and give the right of a brother to his other, brother, then he, the latter, should not take it, for I am giving him only a piece of fire. Narrated by Abu Qatayda. Allah's Messenger peace be upon him said on the day of the battle of Yunnan, whoever has killed an infidel and has a proof or a witness for it, then the salb, arms and belongings of that deceased, will be for him. I stood up to seek a witness to testify that I had killed an infidel but I could not find any witness and then sat down. Then I thought that I should mention the case to Allah's messenger peace be upon him I, and when I did so, a man from those who were sitting with him said, the arms of the killed person he has mentioned, are with me, so please satisfy him on my behalf. Abu Bakr said, no, he will not give the arms to a bird of Quraysh and deprive one of Allah's lions of it who fights for the cause of Allah and his apostle. Allah's messenger peace be upon him I stood up and gave it to me, and I bought a garden with its price, and that was my first property which I owned through the war booty. The people of Hijaz said, a judge should not pass a judgment according to his knowledge, whether he was a witness at the time he was the judge or before that and if a litigant gives a confession in favor of his opponent in the court, in the opinion of some scholars, the judge should not pass a judgment against him till the latter calls two witnesses to witness his confession. And some people of Iraq said, a judge can pass a judgment according to what he hears or witnesses, the litigant's confession, in the court itself, but if the confession takes place outside the court, he should not pass the judgment unless two witnesses witness the confession. Some of them said, a judge can pass a judgment depending on his knowledge of the case as he is trustworthy, and that a witness is required just to reveal the truth. The judge's knowledge is more than the witness. Some said, a judge can judge according to his knowledge only in cases involving property, but in other cases he cannot. al Qasim said, a judge ought not to pass a judgment depending on his knowledge if other people do not know what he knows, although his knowledge is more than the witness of somebody else because he might expose himself to suspicion by the Muslims and cause the Muslims to have unreasonable doubt. 